Hi and welcome to the head office of the Fire Brigade Union, where the union is digesting the news that the fire service has been transferred from the Department of Communities and Local Government into the Government Department of the Home Office. We're joined once again by the General Secretary, Matt Rack. Matt, DCLG has been cutting the fire service for years and we've previously been in the Home Office, so should firefighters be worried about this move? Well, Tam, I think, as you say, uh, we used to be with the fire, with the, the fire service used to be in the Home Office for most of the post-war period. So it's not new uh, and you could make an argument there's some logic to it. You know, it came out of the Second World War about uh, wide scale concern about public safety because of the bombing and so on in the Blitz uh, and uh, that the whole debate about public security. So there is some logic to that. Um, and, you know, in itself, it's not necessarily something to be concerned about, but I think context is important. And the, the point at the present time is we have a government which, as you say, is driving through huge cuts to public services. Uh, so they, through DTLG, they've cut the fire service budgets. Unfortunately, they're going to carry on doing the same through the Home Office. In addition, we've got the Home Secretary seeking to uh, push through uh, measures which would allow police and crime commissioners to take over governance of the fire and rescue service. In our view, that's less democratic, less accountable and less independence of the fire service. Now, Mark, when the Home Secretary Theresa May announced this move, she also talked about the need for workplace reform. And I'm sure, quite sure that's a number of firefighters have picked uh, up on that. What do you think she means by this and how will the FU react to it? Well, I think it's fairly obviously what uh, fairly obvious what they mean by this. Uh, they have we've been the fire service has been a, through a whole number of reviews, which have basically been about, about attacking firefighters' conditions of service. Uh, this government has also under, undertaken attacks on police officers' conditions of service. Uh, so I think uh, when uh, Theresa May talks about that, she's talking about the same sort of agenda of, of cutting, getting more for less, attacking pay, attacking the numbers of firefighters, attacking our long fought for conditions of service, how we negotiate, all those issues I think we need to be very concerned about. So I don't think there's any good news in that bit of it at all. So some real concerns, but the, the move's going to go ahead. How's the union going to engage now with the Home Office going forward? Well, yeah, we will engage. We, you know, Regardless of our views, and we put forward our views on a whole range of policy issues, uh, but the government has made that decision and it's our job to represent our members as best we can in whatever circumstances we face. So we now have a new minister uh, in England dealing with the fire service, the fire service and the police in this case. So we need to meet the new minister, Mike Penning. We need to have a, a dialogue with him uh, and we need to put our arguments to him and to now the Home Secretary. We'll carry on making the case for a genuine modern fire rescue service, genuine professional standards uh, genuine inspection of the fire rescue service so that we've got a service that does what it's supposed to do, what communities expect of it. And the truth is you can't do that if you keep cutting to bits and undermining professional standards. So we'll be making the case still for a modern, effective, professional fire service with decent conditions for the people who deliver it. Mark, thanks very much. Please keep up to date with all the news. It's available on our website, which is www.fbu.org.uk. And don't forget, the union's also set up a new Facebook page, and it's simply entitled The Fire Brigade Union. Well, for immediate updates, follow us on Twitter, and that's at FBU National. But until the next time, thanks very much, Mark. Thanks, Tom.